Statistics. Basic concepts. Bar charts. Organizing data in visual ways can help you to understand it better. One way to do this is through creating a bar chart. A bar chart, sometimes called a bar graph, is used to compare different types of information. It uses bars or columns to reflect the data. The horizontal axis is called the x-axis, which represents a type of variable that's oftentimes qualitative. Remember, qualitative variables are categories that can only be expressed in words. Then there's the vertical or y-axis, representing values that determine the height of each bar. The numbers on the y-axis reflect frequency or the number of times something occurs. For example, this bar chart shows that more students play soccer than tennis or basketball. If you're making your own chart, it's important that the width of the bars is the same as well as the space between each one. For example, Daniel's having a birthday party and his mom wants to offer three different flavors of ice cream. She can't decide which flavors to buy, so she asks the guests what they prefer. Strawberry, cotton candy, vanilla, mint, or chocolate. After getting responses from 50 people, she organizes the data into a table. 18 people voted for chocolate, 10 for vanilla, 8 for strawberry, 12 for mint, and 2 for cotton candy. To make a bar graph, she lists each of the flavors on the x-axis, and on the y-axis, the number of people who voted for each one. Since the largest number is 18, she uses increments of 2 on the y-axis, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, until she reaches 20. The key to choosing the increments on the y-axis is to consider the highest frequency. If you had 100 or 200 guests, placing the numbers 2 by 2 would make the bar chart harder to read. With this chart, Daniel's mom can explain to her son that she'll be buying vanilla, chocolate, and mint for the party, since these are the three most popular flavors. Feel free to check out our other videos about basic concepts and statistics or the full tutorial on our website at gcfglobal.org. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.